Sometimes, when people feel that a conversation is becoming a little bit unbalanced, they might say, there are two sides to every story. These are powerful words, words that most people, upon hearing, will stop talking. Hearing these words will give someone an opportunity to reflect and surrender an argument without shame if they've gone too far. Sometimes, friends and family will use these words to save relationships because those relationships are far more valuable than the argument. But sometimes, people will abuse these words. They might use them just after they've finished making their point and someone else begins to respond. They use these words not to ensure that people maintain a balanced perspective, but to dismiss someone else's opinion, to silence opposition and to ensure that the perspective is unbalanced in their favour. And because the words carry such a strong connotation of balance, this abuse goes unchallenged. We let them get away with it. During World War I, Britain and its allies tried to force a connection to Russia through the Black Sea and the Dardanelles. This became known as the Battle of Gallipoli. The Battle of Gallipoli is also considered to be integral to the identities of the modern nations of New Zealand, Australia and Turkey. Interestingly, the conduct of all soldiers during this campaign is remembered as honourable. Australians, New Zealanders and Turks all consider it a hard-fought campaign. It was the birth of the Anzac spirit, and if not the birth, then the conception of the Republic of Turkey. While some like to say it was a stalemate, most agree it was an Ottoman or Turkish victory, if a costly one. The part of the campaign most celebrated by Britain and its allies was the withdrawal. Indeed, this was an extremely successful operation, with, in the realm of 36,000 troops evacuated in five days, with only a half dozen casualties. But there are two sides to every story. Many Turkish people consider the withdrawal to be the one black mark on the record of their adversaries during that campaign. Not because of the withdrawal, or the deception used to conduct that withdrawal, or even the remarkable success of the withdrawal but because of some of the specific tactics used. As the soldiers withdrew, some of their positions were trapped, as traps would slow down the counter-offensive or the advance of the Ottoman soldiers, and therefore maximize the safety of their own fleeing troops. But this also meant that once those soldiers had already withdrawn and the battle was over, and the land was no longer being contested, Turkish troops continued to suffer casualties because of those traps, men dying for even less reason than usual, as the campaign had already been concluded. There are at least two sides to every story. Sometimes those sides are interesting and valid, and sometimes those sides are pointless and ignorant and meaningless. So when someone says there are two sides to every story, we can stop, think, and let our pointless argument drop. But we can't do that all the time. Because sometimes, when someone says the two sides to every story, it's worth finding out what the other side actually is.